What's going on guys? Kyle here with Geeks with Games bringing you my first part of my Let's Play for Rising World. In this clip, I'm going to go over basically what I've done so far, which is not a whole lot, and what I plan to do and kind of what you can expect in this game. First thing you can notice is I've got this area that's kind of just clear cut and there's no grass around here and I've got my workbenches here. I kind of just went off camera and built this. I assumed you guys didn't want to watch me chop down trees for half an hour so I could build all this crap here. But, so what we started with here is this crafting table, which allows us to build a lot of different stuff. We've got our light sources, a whole lot of different light sources. We've got all our different tools, pickaxe, axe, sickle, hunting knife, so on and so forth. I don't know what... The rolling pan is for flattening dough. Okay. Don't have any use for that yet. I've been using the scythe a lot. That's how I cleared out the grass all around this area. Sledgehammer supposedly so I can smooth out some rock, but I haven't really used it much yet. We've got our utilities, which I haven't really used at all. We've got our couple weapons here. Since there is no iron in the game yet, these things don't actually have any requirements to build. So you can just... Boom, craft one right now. That's going to be changed later on. Trash cans, posters, crafting stations. We got our workbench, block bench, which is over here on the right. And we've got our anvil and our saw. And I've got my own little just shelter thing, which is woefully inadequate. I mean, there is a lot of opening here. So if it was to rain and I was taking a nap, I would be drenched. So I would have to reinforce that if I was actually in this kind of situation. So when I first started playing this game, there's some obvious, you know, it, games that this took ideas from or that was that inspired this game. Now this game still stands on its own. It is a very cool game, all on its own. But there are some influences here and there, such as say like Minecraft slash Terraria. Those are some of the obvious influences. Less obvious ones would be like the other alpha game landmark with in this situation or this game you have the ability to really modify the landscape how you want to be it's not like you know when i said minecraft or terraria where it's all just blocks it's all sorts of just you know modifying the landscape making it how you want it to be now there's a, a like a shitload of stuff you can build Yes, that is a, a unit of measurement. We got some resources, just some basic components here. The anvil doesn't have a whole lot of uses. But I wanted to build this this saw here because there's like a lot of stuff you can build. I mean, we got like tables, we got cupboards, decoration, doors, beds, bathrooms. Yes, yes, you can build a toilet and toilet paper. That's just exactly what I wanted. So there are some influences from other games that you might not expect like say the sims like there are games like this where you can you know craft and build houses and whatnot but to the such an in-depth level that you're building cupboards and tables and toilets and sinks and toilet paper dispensers i don't see that in a lot of games so in this clip i need more wood wood Ugh, i swear i can english I'm going to get some more wood, so I'm going to go ahead and chop down a few trees. I think it's really cool how they did it, where it's, it, it doesn't take the same amount of hits every time you try to take a tree down. It's usually somewhere between 6 and 10 hits, and you just pick up the logs with the E as an echo key, and if you don't want the stump there, you just whack the stump, you know, 5 or 6 more times, maybe a little more, and it will pop up into its own little log. And, of course, with the logs... You can create, ooh, still loading a little bit. You can create lumber and sticks and, you know, whatever tools you need. I found it just saves a little bit of time when the tree is falling. Just keep hitting it, and it just saves you a little bit of time. I'm going to knock this bad boy out really quick. Head back over to our little house area. Whoa. Head on back over here. All right, so now that we're back at our house, I'm going to build, let's see, four beams. Do I need a plank? 
Moon plank can be placed in the world. I don't know exactly what the plank does. Let's find out. I'm going to need more lumber. This is as much lumber as I can get. Don't need any sticks at the moment. And let's get over to this bad boy. Get some stone blocks. There is a, like a lot of options for how you want it to look. And I'm just going with just regular, regular stone right now. So let's craft that. Let's go to our inventory and mix things up a little bit. Let's put you in there. And where are you? Block, block. Okay, wood beam. Okay, let's see if we can clear out a little area. Where do we want our house to be? Another cool thing about this game is it has randomly generated worlds, so when you create a new world, you get to put in a seed. I don't know what this seed is. It's just a bunch of random numbers. But every world I've been in, they've all been pretty much just mountainous and forested, plainsy areas. Not a lot of, not a lot of differences, but... I'm sure there will be more later on. And one thing you guys got to be really careful with is there's all these just ravines and potholes and just just dangerous places all over the map. You just got to be careful. So I think I'm going to clear out part of this area around here because I want to build a, just a small house. It's not going to be big. Just a little place to call my own just right outside. Right outside my little area here. Maybe can I clear out... The, can I even out the ground a little? I think I can even out the ground a little. Yeah, just kind of keep it all flat because you see here, it's all flat right here. So I'm just going to hit all these ledges here. Just kind of even out this area. Well, I tried to flatten it out. Kind of worked, sort of, maybe, a little bit. I was able to remove a lot of the land around here and get rid of the grass. I'll just show you really quick. This is how you remove the grass. It's super easy. It takes out a big chunk of it. There's also a sickle in the game, and I don't know if they do the same thing, but it just seems to take out less grass. So I don't know if it's just more about cosmetic. I don't know. It's more about, you know, just making certain areas look nice, and this is just about clear cutting. I, I don't know. But. I've got this area pretty flattened out, so let's let's just put you. Okay, so this is not going to be a big house. This is going to be a small house, very small house. Yup. Oh man, I'm going to need. Okay, what is that? That's different. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Don't know what you are. But all I'm really looking for is just... Just a little place I can call my own. Let me get rid of that. This is annoying the crap out of me. Okay. So let's see. We've got a little house. Little platform here. And let's build some... Let's put the beams up. Okay. Maybe? Is that the way to do it? So I don't know if this is the correct way to do it, but we are going to find out. Put that there and put you right there. Alright, so we got our four beams. Let's see about... Let's see, let's see. Grab tables, covers, miscellaneous. We build a door. All right, we got ourselves a door. Construction, wood, plank. Let's see what the plank is for. Okay. So we can change the angle of everything by hitting the arrow keys on the keyboard. Let's put you right there some items you gotta hold right click for a while okay sweet let's get the planks let's see if the planks do anything 
Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I have no idea if this is the correct way to do this. But it works! Alright, so basically what I need now is more planks. Okay, let's see if I can just build one of these though. Build one of those. Build more wood planks. Let's see. Crafting station seatings. Oh, I need more lumber. I, I can just build an armchair. It's not a big deal. Bathroom. Toilet. You. Let's see. A chest. Okay, don't have enough for that. Desk. Side table. Okay. Let's put you... Maybe? I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. I might just have to stick with... I might just have to stick with these planks. Let's just build seven at a time. Well, it's not... Not that good. Okay, yeah, that that's gonna work. Okay, so I'm using the numpad right now. Okay, can I rotate it? There we go. No, let's turn you that way. Turn you back. Okay. Put you like that. Put you like that. And where is my window? Okay. This is the jankiest house this world's ever seen. But it's fucking mine. I don't care what you guys think. So I'm going to cut the video off here. As you can see, I'm building a house and it's janky as hell, but it's my house. I don't care. It will be complete and it will be a, just a nice little shitty hidey hole. But next video, I'm probably going to go I'm probably going to go into the mine cuz there's a lot of areas around here you can go into. Look at this area. Like look down here. There's a few areas just like this around here. There's another one over there and there's another one way down over there. So that's probably what I'm going to do in the next video. So if you guys like the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, blah, blah, all that jazz. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you guys know the deal. It's Kyle with Geeks with Games. Thank you for watching.